What's up guys? Welcome to the Eli Stenix YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. My goal is to eventually make YouTube my full-time career. So by you subscribing, you help me towards that goal. Today, I'm gonna be doing a Chris Herrio weight vest updated one year review. About a year ago, I did a Chris Herrio weight vest review um, and it kind of blew up and a lot of you guys have been asking me, um, hey, what about you know any updates on the vest? How's it been doing? So I figured why not just make a video about it, talk to you, have I liked the Chris Harry weight vest over this past year? Have I used it? Do I think it's worth it? Um, and then I'm gonna be doing a full chest workout to help you get a bigger chest using the Chris Harry weight vest. With that said, I think it's pretty obvious that I have loved the Chris Harry weight vest. I use it all the time, seriously, for so many different exercises. It increases the difficulty and the load, making things harder and making me progress further. So I've loved the Chris Harry weight vest and it's also helped me put on size. I've probably gained about 10 pounds since using the Chris Harry weight vest just because of the amount of resistance it's increased in my workouts. I've also recommended the weight vest to one of my best friends and he actually got the 3M reflective weight vest, uh, which I'm really jealous of because not that I don't love my gray one, but the 3M reflective one is super, super dope. If you haven't copped a weight vest, seriously go get one. Any exercise you do, it'll make it so much more difficult, increase the amount of gains you're doing, um, help you get through any plateau or stagnant area in your training that you may have. Um, so yeah, I really have loved it. And especially when you're doing basic exercises, like it's not the complex things that I really use it for. I don't do it for the 90 degree handstand push-ups or 360 muscle ups, right? Handstand push-ups. I'm not to that extreme yet, right? But if I just add it to like simple exercises like pull-ups, push-ups, it makes an easy workout really difficult and really increases the amount of gains that you're getting. So with that said, today I'm gonna be doing a full chest workout to show you guys what I do in order to build size in my chest. A lot of you guys have been requesting this, asking me how I get my chest so big, and the hairy weight vest is one of the big reasons. And then I'm gonna go through a couple exercises that have helped me gain size as well as muscle in my chest. So with that said, let's go ahead and get it on. Um, I decided that I wanted to do a little bit more um, of content like this, right? Where I'm helping you guys out, showing you um, the different things that I do to get my gains and to get the aesthetic physique that I have with just doing calisthenics. So I'm excited to share this workout with you guys because it's one that I do quite frequently in order to get my chest bigger. Um, as well as a lot of triceps too, because naturally you're gonna hit triceps along with your chest. Um, I will say the only downside to this weight vest has been for a pale white boy like me, pretty much every time I wear it shirtless, I get quite a bit of a weight vest burn, if that's what you wanna call it. So it hasn't been the most friendly on my skin. You can actually already see, just like from me putting it on, a little bit of redness there. But it is what it is. At the end of the day, like, just train with a shirt. It's not that deep. But that's seriously my own, only complaint. Like, it's held up really well. I actually left it outside. You can see there's a little bit of, you know, marks. I know some of my bricks got a little bit, a little bit rusty because I left it outside. Um, but overall, it's seriously maintained. And I think I think it still looks super sleek. The first exercise we're gonna do in today's workout is gonna be gymnastic ring chest flies. This is literally my favorite exercise for getting a bigger chest. Um, because of how much it isolates your chest, allows you to hit every aspect of your chest, every part of your chest with just one exercise. And increasing the amount of weight to your body by using the Chris Harry weight vest um, increases the amount of resistance and ultimately the amount of muscle you're able to gain from it. Essentially, you're just gonna take your gymnastic rings, set them out to a length where it's gonna be you know, easy for you. Because if you set them out too far, right, you're gonna be like flat and you're gonna be having to press your whole body weight with just your arms. It's gonna be really hard. So make sure you have it at a good length that you're able to do around eight to 12 reps comfortably with good form. I actually like to cross my arms like this just to get that squeeze at the top. That's gonna be the first exercise for today's workout. I'm just gonna take you guys through one set. Obviously, I encourage you to do three to five sets depending on your ability level. But the next exercise we're gonna hit is gonna be for the lower chest as well as some triceps. And that's gonna be over here at the dip bars. So with dips, it's really important to make sure you focus on form because um, it can be really strenuous, a really strenuous exercise. You know, you're lifting your entire body weight and you're putting strain on it. So it's important to make sure of a couple things. Number one, Make sure that you're not straight up and down. 
come in like this. That's not gonna be good for your shoulders, it's not gonna be good for your elbows. It may work a little bit more of your triceps if you do that, but overall it's not gonna be good for your health. So making sure that you lean forward, scapula is protracted at the top. And I'm leaning down, coming back up. Just like that. And at the top, you'll feel that tricep contraction. So you don't have to worry about going down straight like this. You'll feel it at the top. As you can see, the weight vest is incredibly effective, um, making your workout a lot harder and hopefully putting you out of breath. Um, the third exercise we're gonna be doing today are feet elevated push-ups. And the reason that I like these is you can actually pike your body even a little bit more to get more of an incline to focus on upper chest. That's something this year that I'm really trying to focus on is develop my upper chest, kind of get a little bit of that shelf. And this is a great exercise in order to build that upper chest while not having that position. Um, that way, you know, you're not uneven. So essentially, you're gonna get up like this. Don't extend all the way out, because then I like to pike my body a little bit. Right here, come at an angle, Whew, upper chest. Man, that seriously kills the upper chest. And you'll feel a lot in your uh, shoulders as well because you're obviously doing that pushing motion. But that's a great exercise to build that upper chest. Make sure that you're staying well-rounded. Uh, the last exercise we're gonna be doing, number four, it's gonna be ring archer push-ups. I've been doing these since day one, back when I was grinding in my parents' backyard with my homemade pull-up bar. And this is gonna be, this isn't even that difficult of a level, but if you uh, even put them further to the ground, right, it makes it more difficult, but I'm just gonna do it right here. So essentially what you're gonna do, is you're gonna come here, straight arm, push with that. And really trying to focus on isolating the arm that's pushing, right? So maintain, control the whole time. And this is really, once again, gonna hit a lot of your chest. <sighs> Requires stability as well as strength. This is gonna get you huge gains. And when you come in with the other arm, almost act like you're doing a ring chest fly and you're squeezing, right? So I'm coming here, I'm gonna squeeze on the other side. We're gonna go ahead and take this off. And number one, show you marks that I was talking about. You can see just redness all over my chest. But then you can also see the enormous pump that I got. Seriously, like this takes your gains to the next level. If you're wanting to get past that plateau, especially put on size, as a calisthenics athlete, it's gonna be a lot harder with just your body weight. So make sure that you're doing things like weighted dips, weighted push-ups, you know, ring chest flies, things that are really straining your muscles. Cause at the end of the day, that's what gets you bigger. Breaking down the muscle, creating those micro tears, and then eating a lot of protein, eating a lot of food in order to build that back up so that you can look even bigger, right? And it's a continual process. So making sure that you're staying consistent, not just doing this as a once a month thing, or not just doing this as every once in a while thing, but doing it as almost an everyday thing, adding the weight vest into your workouts, whether it's just a little circuit, like five push-ups, five pull-ups, all the way down to one, make sure you're getting in some type of workout, make sure that you're pushing your body, you're training until failure, and you're training intense, that way you can get the dream physique that you've always wanted. If you like this video, make sure to tap that like button as well as subscribe with notifications. That way you don't, you don't miss any of my future videos. If you have any video ideas, put them in the comments down below. I love hearing different ideas you guys have for my content, different things you want me to talk about. So make sure to do that. We'll see you in the next video. I love y'all. Peace.